Hello and welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Aro Publications. I am your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, I shall teach you all about the present continuous tense. This is the second of the present tenses and it's very useful and interesting because it's used all the time. Now let's get started. The first thing you must know about the present continuous tense is that the structure is just about the subject used with am, is, are, with verb and the, with ing. It means we are using subject plus am, is, are, plus verb, plus ing to use the affirmative form or to form the affirmative structure. And the second thing is about the negative form. We use the subject plus am not, is not, are not, plus verb plus ing to make the negative form. And to ask questions in present continuous, we use am is are plus subject plus verb plus ing form, which in a shortcut language or a layman's language we call as the V4 form. In grammatical terms, we call it as the present participle. Well, technical terms are not required when you want to speak English well. All you need to know is that this structure has the ing form of the verb. Now, to give you an example, you just say, I am sleeping or I am eating or I am dancing or you can say, I am not eating now, I am not dancing now, I am not writing now, I am listening now, I am not speaking now. And the, to ask the questions, you simply say, are you sleeping now? Are you eating now? Are you writing now? Are you dancing now? Or you can simply say, am I dancing now? Am I speaking now? So you use am is are to make questions. Now let's look at some examples of the different uses of present continuous. But before we look at the examples, let's look at the uses of the present continuous. How exactly is it used or where exactly and in which situation is the present continuous tense used? The first thing we use it for is to talk about actions that are going on at the moment. At the moment means right now or at present or at the time of speaking. The second use is when we want to talk about our longer actions that will continue for some time or continue till it is finished. And we also use the present continuous tense to talk about things that go on all the time as a matter of habit. And lastly, we use the present continuous tense to talk about changes or developments. Now, coming to the different indicators. The present continuous tense has got some indicators or we can call them as some expressions that are used with the present continuous. Now, some of them are now. So, when you make a sentence in present continuous, you can use now or you can use at present. At the moment, these days, nowadays, day by day. What is the meaning of day by day? Day by day means every day. This is happening. It's, it's used when we want to talk about changes or developments. Now let's go to some examples of each of these uses. The sun is shining brightly now. So this is happening right now. It is raining heavily at the moment. It's happening right now. Nowadays, everyone is using cell phones. So everybody is using cell phones all the time. These days, she's staying alone. So this is a development. Prices are increasing day by day. So this is about a development or a change. She's taking medicines. How long will she take medicines? She'll take medicines till she gets better. So she is taking medicines and the process is going on. He is preparing for 
civils. So how long will he prepare? He'll prepare till he finishes the exam, till he succeeds. So he is preparing for the civils. He, she is working in Google. So now she's working in Google and she might work for some time in Google or maybe for many more years. So these are examples, some examples to show how this present continuous tense is used. Some more examples. I am writing a novel. What's the meaning of I am writing a novel? It's not that I am writing a novel right now. I may not be doing it right now, but I am in the process of writing a novel that will continue for some time till it is finished. The construction of the house is going on. The process is going on. The house construction is going on. It will go on for some time. We are learning spoken English. The process of learning spoken English will go on for some time till it is finished. He is looking for a job. He is looking for. Looking for means don't. Uh, it, it simply means searching. And we don't use the word searching for a job. We say he is looking for a job. Looking for means he is searching and he is in the process. The teacher is teaching us tenses now. Right now, I am teaching you tenses. It's going on at the moment. She is recovering from her illness. So recovering from a illness, from an illness, takes some time. So the process is going on. He is always complaining about something. So he has this habit, this nasty habit of complaining about something or the other. He's always doing it. The baby is crying all the time. Sometimes the baby cries for too long. So you say she's crying all the time without any rest. Or you can even say she cries all the time. But if you want to express that continuity of the action, then you can say she's crying all the time. And now to the negative forms. Let's look at some examples with in, in present continuous tense in negative forms. We are not standing now. The teacher is not writing now. I am not eating now. The moon is not shining now. The sun is not rising now. It's not raining now. Many, many people are not reading the newspapers these days. Students are not attending classes regularly these days. Now let's go to the interrogative forms, the question forms in present continuous tense. Are you sleeping now? So when you want to ask someone what they are doing, you can say, are you sleeping now? Is the sun setting now? Are the students writing an exam now? Is it raining now? Is the bus coming now? Are the trains running on time? Are you learning French? Is your watch working? Are your parents living with you? Well, these are examples of interrogative sentences in present continuous. So, in this lesson, you have learnt the structure of the present continuous tense the expressions or the indicators of the present continuous tense, the different uses of present continuous tense and all the examples for each of them. And we have also learnt the affirmative forms, the negative forms and the interrogative forms. I'm sure you enjoyed learning this tense and you will be able to use this tense in the right manner right from now. So thank you very much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to our videos. We'll come back with more interesting videos. Until then, goodbye.